In this video, I'm going to be talking about maximum demand calculations for domestic installations and providing some tips and taking you through the process that I use. So this video is intended to be a guide as every installation is different and it's important for the designer to assess the installation and use their knowledge and experience to assess the electrical load and apply any allowable diversity factors. So in order to calculate the maximum demand, we need to list the circuits and the demanding current for each circuit and apply any allowable diversity factors. One method is to apply diversity to individual loads, which I will talk about in another video. In this video, I'm going to provide an example of a maximum demand calculation for a domestic installation with a standard circuit arrangement in accordance with Appendix H of the on-site guide. So for this example, I'm going to record my screen and I'm going to show you exactly how I use Microsoft Excel to calculate maximum demand. And in this case, we're going to be using the method in the on-site guide, which is for installations in accordance with Appendix H of the on-site guide, which relates to um, installations with a standard circuit arrangement, such as a, a domestic installation, basically. So as you can see, what I've done is I've taken a blank Excel spreadsheet and over here I've listed all the circuits and then over here in the next column what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the load in watts followed by the amps and then the diversity factor that we're going to use and then we're going to calculate the demand so if I just click over here now for the shower I'm going to assume that it's going to be a 9.2 kilowatt shower so we're going to put in 9200 then over here we're going to calculate the design current simply by right? if we press equals click on there and then forward slash for divide and then 230 volts so with circuits where i know what the wattage is going to be i'll, I'll always calculate the exact the exact um, design current there same goes for the immersion heater so i'm going to assume that's going to be three kilowatts so i'm going to do the same again but what i can do is i can just hover over the corner there till i see the little plus sign and then i'll drag down and then i'll copy that down there now for the socket circuits where we don't know what the wattage is going to be what i'll do there is i'll use the size of the circuit breaker so if i type 32 and then again i can just copy that down like so now for the lighting, um, obviously we can we can calculate what the wattage is going to be just simply by adding up the wattage of the lamps. If we don't know the wattage of the lamps, then I would use 100 watts for each one. If we do, we can just add them up. But for the purpose of this example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say 500 watts for each. Like so. So. Here I'm going to show what diversity factor that I've used. And so for this example, where we are using the method uh, for circuits in accordance with Appendix H, it's 100% of the largest load, and then 40% of each of the remaining loads. So again, I'll just copy that down like so. And over here, so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the demand. So I'll use a formula in Excel to do this. So all I'll do is I'll type equals. For the first one, because it's 100%, I'm just going to click on the amps there and press enter, and that's just going to carry that over. For the remaining loads, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by 0.4 to give us 40%. So if I type equals, click on the design current there, then asterisk for multiply and 0.4. And that gives us 5.2 amps for the immersion heater. Now for the next three circuits, what I can do is that's going to be exactly the same. I can just drag that down like so. So each of those socket circuits, rather than 32 amps, it becomes 12.8 amps. For the remaining two circuits, it's the same formula again, but because the wattage is in 
is over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the design current first. So I'm going to do equals wattage divided by 230. Copy that down and then equals. And so that's going to be asterisk for multiply and then 0.4. So that gives us 40% of those two. And again, I'll copy that down like so. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to change that so that it's all to two decimal places. So if I do number like so, yeah, that looks much neater. So in this column here, this is the maximum demand before diversity is applied. And over here, this is the demand after diversity. So what we want to do is we want to total those up. So here, if I go equals, and then in capital letters, I'll type sum brackets. And then what I can do is I can just click and drag like so. So that gives us the maximum demand without diversity. And as you can see, 153 amps, that is a lot. Um, and um, so what we need to do is to have that diversity applied to bring that down. So we're going to do the same thing here, equals sum, and then brackets, click and drag, enter. And that takes us to 85 amps, which is obviously much more, much better. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to work out the maximum demand in KVA, which is very important if you want to apply for a new electricity connection, for example, because the electricity supplier will ask you for the demand in KVA. So all you do to do that is you multiply the current by the voltage and then divide by a thousand. And what we can do is we can do that in Excel. So literally just click on click on the cell where you want the answer to go. I'll type equals. Then I'll click on the current and then asterisk for multiply 230 volts and then it's forward slash for divide 1000. So if I hit enter that gives me the answer of 19.63 kVA. So that is how I calculate maximum demand for a simple installation in accordance with Appendix H. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please subscribe to my channel where I hope to add more videos on electrical engineering subjects.